Welcome back to the lab. Oh my goodness. As you could see, I placed an announcement here for the community. And we have a new mod pack out. This is seriously fun business we're going about. Some of my friends are telling me they've already installed it, but there are many, many a times when many of my other friends just can't seem to get their head around this whole mod pack installation thing. Very intimidating to some of my little duckies, but I want you to be a happy ducky like this guy right here. And what I'm going to do is I have not installed the mods yet, but I'm going to walk you through a mod pack installation, all right? So this is where we are going to start. You have to have the mod pack guys and you get the mod pack by going to the Grego video, right? If you don't know how to find the video and you're a member of my Steam group, Scrap Mechanic Labs USA, you go to this announcement I just made, you click the announcement. Okay? Just like this. You click it. And then, all right, it didn't take you to the mod pack, but it takes you to the video. But we're gonna stop it because we need to go to actually YouTube and you can go to YouTube by hitting the YouTube button here in the bottom right hand corner. Click it. Okay. That brings up the YouTube. Enter the Nerf Elite Terrace. And a commercial we don't need. All right, cool commercial though. I really like that Terra Scout. But what we actually want is to show more here under the video we want to grab the direct download link here also this mod was built by Dirt, MJM and Shine Vision thank you we do appreciate and love all the new mods you guys do they're so super awesome and they add so much fun to the game so we're gonna grab it by clicking on the mod link and if you're using Chrome like I am little guy will appear down here in this corner once the little bar is full then you go click this little arrow right here go show in folder and a folder should pop up like this you grab the mod pack pull it onto your desktop over here putting it over here next to the Lego quick mod all right got the mod pack we're halfway through this journey the next part is installing the mod pack and we will do that right after these important messages okay I know you've waited eagerly or just hit the skip advertisement thing either way we're back and uh, we're not going to sell the mod pack just yet because I just realized we also need the Grego mod because everything kind of goes together it's just good to have all the mods which brings me to another important point I'm so grateful and thankful that MJM Durf and Shine Vision are collaborating together because they make this process a lot like less complicated. Um, honestly, we would be done now, but because there's still other mods that aren't collaborated into, I guess, the core group. Um, I went and I updated this announcement to show you guys that. See, there we go. Another announcement here we're gonna get there the same way click on the video then click on the YouTube button then pause the video scroll down show more and uh, drive Google, drive Google, mod by Grego. this part's a little confusing I think it's this one right here 
And this will take us to Google Drive. And to download from Google Drive, you have to click on this little download thingy right up here. And hopefully, we'll get another one here in the bottom left hand corner, like I'm showing you. Yes, and that happened pretty quickly. I'm happy about that. Show and folder. Scrap Mechanic Mod 1.33 by Grego. We're going to bring this over here to this window. Shrink this guy down again. Because I think we're done with most of that other stuff. At, when this video is over, I'm going to add this video to the announcement that I just made. So it'll be the third one in the series. The first two videos will be the link to the... YouTube videos where you find the mods you need to install the mods. Now bear with me, hold on. I know that sounded really complicated, but don't worry so much about what I'm saying. Just watch what I'm doing here with my two mods. And um, once, you, once you've gotten this far, you're pretty good. I put the Grego one on top, and I got the second one on bottom here, right? They have a big Z on them because they open with 7Z, but WinZip will work too. Uh, you just have to deal with all the commercials, the uh, WinZip, not commercials, the please buy me advertisements. But the next step, all right, moving to the top window for a second here, my little tiny side window, and um, we've got to have Scrap Mechanic running. And let me make this window big again because I'm using dual monitors here. And um, in here is where it should pop up. Actually, no, let me go back here. All right. See this little window that pops up in the bottom here? Go here. Go to your Steam icon. You right click. Go to your library. And okay. This is in the way now. Moving this out of the way. In your library, you find your scrap mechanic game, like I'm showing you right there. You go to properties, which popped up in another window, which I'm going to bring into the big window here. You go to local files, and you verify the integrity. You always got to do this, guys, before you ever install any mods. It's got to be a clean slate. Otherwise, you get all this weird stuff. That bar filled up. The blue bar at the bottom filled up. It's filling up again. Please let those processes finish before you move on to the next process or you're going to have some problems. Okay. My scrap mechanic has now been vanillified. All right. Go back. Properties. Local files. Now we browse. When you hit the browse button, another window will pop up. And this is the window where the action takes place, all right? This is the important window. All these other windows could go away. Because now, this is where the modding, this is where the modding happens. You have this data folder right here. You got your two mods right here. You've got the mod by Grego, and then the new mod pack that just got updated today. First, we unpack the Grego mod by double clicking on it, and this window, if you're using 7Z, will pop up. Inside you'll see another folder, says Scrap Mechanic Mod version 1.33 by Grego. Double click it. You grab the data folder, you pull it down into the white area below. You're going to get a question here in Windows 7, just hit yes. If you're in Windows 10, it'll just ask you if you, can, if you want to override everything and there'll be a big button on top, hit that big button, say yes and override everything. If you're in Windows 7, like I am right now, you'll need to click this little box say yes for all current items. You'll need to 
click this little box again for where it says do this for the next 108 conflicts and then pick copy and replace. Don't just hit skip. You're not going to get modded if you hit skip. You have to do this process slowly. So make sure this is checked. Hit copy and replace if you're on Windows 7. You don't have to worry about any of this if you're on Windows 10. You just overwrite on Windows 10. Okay. The first mod just went in. That is the Grego mod. I call that our base mod because that's the one that has parts that can be used to crash your world and stuff. So if you don't have the base mods in um, and someone else happens to be using Grego parts, then yeah, your, your world can get crashed very easily. So if you like to host worlds, important to get that mod pack in. The next mod pack is the new mod pack. It just came out today. If the background noise is loud enough for you, that's my mom doing a video. Uh, if you want to see the video, send me a, send me a, uh, <laughs> tell me in the comments. I'll give you a link. You'll love it. They're so funny. But anyway, I just opened the new one. They just got a data folder in there. Do the same thing. Pull this data folder in to the white area. Pick yes. Do this for the next 11 items found. Yes. Do this for the next 203 conflicts. Check that so you don't have to keep hitting this button over and over again a bazillion times. Once this is checked, you only have to click this once up here, copy and replace. And that's it. We're modded. Um, I'm going to grab one more mod that I use because I am a brand here. And let me pop that open. Let me grab Scrap Mechanic Labs Coats. Uh, big shout out to 8-Bit Robin. Thank you so much for this mod. It is so cool and adds a nice branding effect to my channel. If you guys don't know who 8-Bit Robin is, I just gotta rave about him some more because very cool guy. Good friend to have. And this mod here is what's gonna give me my lab coats. And I'm gonna say yes. And I'm gonna do this for the next 29 conflicts. And we should be good. I should have my skin mod now and real time real time load of scrap mechanic we gotta do this um, after I take a quick little break here because transitioning from OBS to recording my game is still a bit mysterious and exciting so see you in just a sec after this brief interruption Alright, um, I'm going to use OBS just to show you Scrap Mechanic starting up. This is going to be a short clip with OBS. Well, hopefully it'll be a short clip. Once you've done mods or you've installed mods for the first time, I think there's a lot of rebuilding or something going on inside of the game's cache or whatever. So it takes super extra long to launch. Um, we'll see how long that is. I'm going to double click it now. And, um, wow, I was so wrong about that. Okay, now just because it launched really fast on my system doesn't mean it's going to launch like super fast on your system. So be patient and let that little square stay there for maybe at least five minutes. I kid you not. And then if after five minutes it doesn't launch, then you're probably frozen up or something weird or froze up. But let's go in to a brand new world now and see if this works. 
so exciting. Load game. Uh, let's. Whenever you, you're dealing with new mods, it's always safe to just start off a brand new world. And uh, start off flat. Create. And um, let's see if this works. Okay, this is the part. Uh, okay, this may be the part that takes a long time. And I was thinking about waiting for the yellow bar to fill. Filling. Got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm in. I got the book in my hand. Oh, dang it, I moved. Oh, shoot, when I move, I forget where my spawn point is. I think it's right here, about right there. Sorry, just a fourth habit. Gotta mark my spawn. I lose people all the time, can't find people. They're, they're like, I'm at spawn. I'm like, where is that? There it is. All right, um, the moment you've all been waiting for, inventory. Ooh, they cleaned up the icons. They made them a little nicer. I like that. I like that. So far, so good. Looks like nothing is exploding or crashing. <gasps> There's the modular seats I saw in the Durf video. I l oh, surface controllers. I love these surface panels slash controllers. What an elegant solution. Another fave, fave. Spotlight beam, interesting. I guess if you want to put up the bat signal, let's do it. What is this? Reduce collision block. Ah, yeah, for getting around corners and doors. I remember. That's, I like how they did the icon for that. Very cool. All these other nice curvy blocks. I'm really digging this. Um. You know, what's neat is a lot of these blocks, um, I guess they're a refinishing of a lot of the, uh, uh-oh, getting a phone call. I'll let him know I'm in the middle of the video. Recording right now. He's, uh, he's gonna be like, oh no, sorry about that. It's alright, dude. Um, but anyway, as I was saying. Super Mario Brother tubes. Oh, that's just gonna be so fun. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> um, what else? What else? And of course, the train parts. Um, you can join, but I'm gonna be wrapping this up in just a few seconds. Uh, but yes, looks like the mod went through. Yeah, I never. I can. I never tell anyone they can't join. They just all just join, show up. But um. Actually, he won't be able to join because he's not modded. Let me uh, let me let him know. Are you modded with the new mods? He's probably gonna say derp again, uh, because you're not going to be able to join just yet. Which reminds me, if a friend of yours joins and they're not modded, the the easiest way to tell is they'll appear in the spawn point. And you just need to watch and see if the little book appears in his hand. If that book does not appear in his hand, he failed to load into the world. So he crashed. And normally what causes that would be any modded blocks that are present in that world that he does not have the mods for. So another quick tip. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys are going to be able to get your mods done as effectively, quickly, painlessly as possible. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in new worlds with new mods for new adventures and new amazing builds and creations and ideas. Because if there's anything these new mods do is they inspire and that is for sure. We have some inspirational modders and I'm looking so forward to working with all these new parts. Thanks guys, thanks MJM, thanks Durf, thanks Shine Vision, and of course thanks Grego. Um, keep dreaming, keep building, and uh, time for me to edit this up quick. I want to get with my community and start working on stuff. Bye bye.